Hello, in this lecture, we will define asset book value according to fundamental accounting principles. Wild 22nd edition, the definition of asset book value is assets acquisition costs less its accumulated depreciation or depletion or amortization, also sometimes used synonymously as the carrying value of an account. In order to understand book value, we need to know what types of accounts are typically depreciated, what type of assets are typically depreciated, depleted, or amortized. We need to know what those terms mean, depreciation, depreciation, and amortization. And then we need to know how to calculate that book value and what the use of that calculation is. In order to do that, let's take a look at an example. In this case, we're going to have a tank here, which is going to help us generate revenue in the future in some way. It's going to be a fixed asset or depreciable asset because we are going to use it for multiple time periods into the future to help us to generate revenue. Therefore, we're going to put it on the books at cost. In this case, the 257500 That tank will go down in value. However, it won't go down in quantity as would happen with something like inventory or supplies. Therefore, we need to calculate how we're going to allocate that cost over time even though the quantity will remain the same. We're going to use depreciation and accumulated depreciation in order to do that. In order to see the calculation, we'll use the most common intuitive format of depreciation methods, that being the straight line method. Straight line method, we would, we would take this cost, 257500 We're going to subtract from that the salvage value what we believe we can sell the tank for or scrap it for at the end of the useful life, the life that we will be using it in the business for. That gives us the depreciable amount over the useful life. Then we're going to divide that by the useful life in order to determine how much depreciation to depreciate each year of the useful life, in this case being the 59375 So each year we're going to depreciate 59375 to get us to the total depreciation of the 237.5, which will leave us with 20,000, the salvage value that we'll then sell it for, or be able to scrap it for. If we were to post this first journal entry, we would then have the books on the books of the 257.5 cost less the accumulated depreciation, uh, 59.375, telling our reader three things. This is what the cost of the asset was. This is what the accumulated depreciation is. If you want to know the book value, you're going to have to subtract out the cost minus the accumulated depreciation. To do that, we would just take the book value being the cost less the accumulated depreciation. That's going to be the book value as of year one. If we then go to year two, we can see, okay, the depreciation is going to be the same. The cost is going to be the same, but the accumulated depreciation went up. It accumulated upward. So we had last year's depreciation, 59,375. We've got the current year, year two's depreciation, 59,375, bringing the total depreciation, the accumulated depreciation, to 118,750. And then the book value is the 257,500 minus the 118,750, bringing the book value to 138,750.